Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele. Today is March 18th, 2023, and in this video I'm going to look at the effects of an annual forecast. Actually, I shouldn't say the effects, but the how well an annual forecast I have here for 2023 has been doing for the first almost three months here. And then I'm going to project it out. I have it for the entire year of 2023, but I'm just going to project it out in this video until about the end of April. Then round about the end of April, I'm going to make another video to visit how well this forecast has done. And at that point in time, I'm actually going to explain to you how I made this forecast. So that's the video about six weeks from now, five or six weeks from now. So let's look so far this is the dow jones industrial average daily chart here and i have uh, what i'm going to do is just it's a high low type forecast a curve as gan called it where you go from a high to a low to a high to a low so forth and so on and we're going to see how well i've done here i'm not going to do one of those things where you push it forwards or backwards unless the forecast lands on a weekend then we have to pull it back to the last trading day or push it forward to the next trading day, dependent upon whether it lands on Saturday or Sunday. But to start off with here, I have a high for January 2nd. So let's find January 2nd, 23. So here's January 3rd is the closest date. So there's January 3rd and then a low on the 6th. So 5th, 6th right there. And then from there, I have a high on the 12th, which is right here. Not too bad there. The next one is a low on the 19th, 18 and 19. Did pretty well with that one. And then a high on the 24th, which is right here, like that. And then a low on the 30th. So let's find the 30th. 20th. 30 right there so that one not particularly I mean it's definitely this is the high point there and that's the low point there so it did move down to there but it would have been better if it had been up there right but it's still technically accurate but not very good in all in all reality but let's keep going here so we have the low on the 30th we have a high for February 4th second third and the fourth is a Saturday, so the third right there. And then a low on the eighth, seventh, eighth right there. So missed either one of these low points right there, but it's still lower, just not optimal right there. And then up to the 13th of February, 14th is right there, so 13th day before, not too bad. And then from the 13th, we move down to the 28th. So it did a pretty decent job catching this big move down here. Just an actual day out from the bottom, not too bad. And then we move up to March 4th, 3rd and 4th. So, well, that's the 6th. I guess the 4th would be right there. Fourth is the weekend. That's a Friday, so we're closer there. But still, not too bad right there. And then, let's see here. Uh, down to the 14th. Down to the 14th from here. 13 and 14. And then from March 14th low to March 20th high which 16, 17, 20 will be right here. So we're now at the point where we're current, where we are in time right now. So the forecast is expecting there to be a high, essentially Monday on the 20th. The next date from there is March 28th would be a low. So I'll just make it down like that. I don't have any form of amplitude set on this particular forecast for myself here. Uh, let's see, Tuesday the 28th, consider a low April 3rd would be the forecasted high past that. And then from there, April 12th is forecasted to be the low. 
And then, let's see, April 22nd is the forecasted high point, and that lands on a Saturday, so we'll just do the 21st, and I'm not making this to scale. These price movements are not to scale. I'm just <laughs> pulled that one up extra far. Uh, from the 22nd, the 27th is considered a low. It's expected a low right there. And then up into May, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, everybody knows that, right? All right, so that's the next six weeks or so of this forecast, this annual forecast. So like I said before at the beginning of the video, um, I'm going to make another video in five or six weeks so we can see how these pivot points have done. And at that point, I'm going to talk about how may I made this or how I got this forecast, I should say. It looks like it did pretty well here, decently. There's There was a couple points where it was off by like a day or so. But all things considered, it uh, hasn't done too badly, especially this big move down there and this one down here is pretty decent, right? So, so far, so good. And we'll see another six weeks or so how well this part of it does right here. And then... Well, I guess I'll talk to you in next week's video.